Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is very, very, very extremely overdue. I just really wanted to get this video out because I am way past second trimester. I'm currently 36 weeks pregnant and I'm so sorry, but I was like, you know what? I need to get this video up before I'm finished with my third trimester. I realized that in my first trimester recap, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna talk too much because I don't want this to be a lengthy video. And girl, the video was like almost 20 minutes long. So I was like, yeah, we're not gonna do that again, okay? First off, I wanna talk about my bump. Right now, I am 36 weeks pregnant, so I don't really wanna show you my bump because it's not accurate to like the second trimester bump. But I will put up some pictures on the screen right now so you guys can see my bump when I was in second trimester so that you guys can kind of like get a gist. Again, I'm sorry I'm doing this video so late. Like I could have given you like a real time bump update. Second of all, I wanna say that second trimester is extremely different to the first trimester. If you guys watched my first trimester video, you guys know about all the symptoms that I talked about, you know, how I was feeling and everything like that. And let me just say that second trimester is like the pregnancy glow up era. That's the era that you're in when you're in the second trimester. And what I mean by that is like, you just feel so cute in your bump because your bump isn't that big, it's not too small. Like it's obvious that it's like a pregnancy bump. You can still wear cute outfits and feel cute. You know, your face doesn't really change too much because you haven't really like gained too much weight or at least I I didn't gain too much weight I don't really like to talk about weight gain because I feel like it does not matter like as long as your baby comes out fine like you know, that's the most important thing. I personally have gotten that question a lot. In my first and second trimester, I gained about 15 pounds total. I was also doing Pilates and like working out, going on walks. So I don't know, I just felt like I was glowing. Like people would tell me I was glowing, but I would feel like I was glowing too. So it was kind of just like a, I don't know, I was just in my pregnancy glow era. <laughs> and during my second trimester, I feel like I didn't really feel the weight of my belly. I remember feeling like, I would forget that I was pregnant, not because I couldn't like see my belly, but just like I would wake up and it just like, you know, it wasn't that heavy. I would walk around and I wouldn't really get tired too much. In my second trimester, when I talk about my third trimester in my next video, girl, <laughs> y'all in for a roller coaster because it is so different. But anyways, it's the second trimester. I don't want to get into my third trimester, but yeah, definitely my bump popped in the second trimester and you know people can tell that you're pregnant it's not like an awkward phase anymore so that's really fun because your bump isn't so big but it's not too small it's like the perfect baby size so one of the biggest things that happened during my second trimester was feeling the baby kick for the first time and personally i spent my pregnancy with my friend who was also pregnant so i was kind of just going along with what she was going through she was two months ahead of me but i would always kind of just like you know go off of her like okay she's in this month and she's already feeling her baby kick so it was fun to kind of just be like oh my gosh i'm finally feeling my baby kick and you know kind of like reaching those milestones just because she would go through everything before i did so it was kind of just like okay mentally prepared myself like that's where I'm going next so I started feeling my baby kick when I was around 18 weeks which I wasn't really worried about I was okay like I know my baby's healthy I'm not gonna freak out about the baby kicks because at the same time I didn't know what they felt like so I could be saying 18 weeks and in reality she was already kicking at like 17 16 so yeah if you're not so yeah if you're in your second trimester and you haven't felt your baby kick don't worry it will come and you will definitely start to know what they feel like and it's honestly really exciting because like you get excited and then like your family gets excited and friends get excited and stuff like that at 19 weeks i got my ultra at 19 weeks i got my second ultrasound throughout my whole pregnancy i got the anatomy scan and honestly i was pretty nervous for that but at the same time i feel like i just have I just have like so much faith that my baby's healthy so I never really wanted to freak out too much about anything. It was just kind of like scary knowing that I was gonna see like an actual baby compared to my first ultrasound which was literally like a shrimp big. I did make a TikTok about that so I'm gonna play it real fast so you guys can kind of see a little bit of that day and like what happened. So today I had my anatomy ultrasound at 19 weeks pregnant and I had to drink so much water y'all. I was like literally trying to finish it in the car because literally you need like 32 ounces of you before this ultrasound begins. And so when I got there, literally I had to be so bad and I was like, girl, get this ultrasound over with, which honestly was probably the longest ultrasound I've had so far. But I was really sad because my husband wasn't able to come with me, which I thought was really weird because I know some other people like do have their husbands with them, but we were able to see our baby for the first time. And look at her right there. She's a girl. Look at her smile. After we went to Daily Brew to get some breakfast, and this is my little 19-week bump update, a little Lauren Geraldo moment. I'm trying to embrace my stomach. <laughs> But anyways, Daily Brew in Riverside has the best vanilla chai tea lattes. So good. That was my caffeine dose for the day. And yeah, we got some waffles. And Ernesto got some waffles with strawberry jam. And then I dropped them off at work. 
But yeah, we were able to see more of like a baby form and like the bones and all that stuff. And it was just like really crazy. Yeah, everything came back normal. Everything was good. Moving on to symptoms during my second trimester. Like I said, pregnancy glow era. I honestly was thriving in my second trimester. And I know that everybody says that, but I'm just confirming that it's true. Like second trimester really is so much different than the first. At least it was for me. That's my experience. For my symptoms, I didn't really have any crazy cravings. I didn't really have incredible hunger. I had way more energy. Like my energy 100% came back. And I honestly feel like because I had so much energy, I had so much energy to make content and it helped uh, my social media grow, especially my TikTok. I was doing Pilates, I was working out, you know, going on walks, staying, you know, active. And my sleep was fine. Like, I wasn't really uncomfortable sleeping. It was more of just like, oh, some random nights I'd be like, oh, like, my back hurts. Like, I feel like I didn't sleep right or something. But for the most part, like, I was using my pregnancy pillow and everything was fine. Another symptom that I started getting was hyperpigmentation. And honestly, I think this was one of, like, the worst. You can't really control it because obviously, like, you know, your hormones are in balance and, like, your just everything, your body's changing and you can't really, like, stop it from happening. So, yeah, my underarms and, like, around my neck right here started to get a little darker. That was just kind of annoying because obviously, like, your body wasn't like that and then it goes through changes and you're just like, oh, why did I have to get that change? And also speaking about my underarms you guys the body odor is like a little bit too much you know i used to be able to just shave and like go without deodorant like two days max i don't know like my body odor was just like fine like i didn't really have to wear deodorant every day and during my second trimester it was just like amped up and i'm just like oh my gosh like i literally just woke up why do my armpits stink <laughs> also my milk jugs got very big i did start to see some stretch marks around my milk jugs as well and you know color changes at first i didn't notice until i noticed and i was like whoa who's that who are those? I also started getting stretch marks like in my hip area. Like you you can't even see them unless I'm wearing like a bathing suit. I was expecting to get stretch marks in my belly because that's what everybody talks about. But no, y'all, like you can get stretch marks in other places that isn't your belly. A really strange symptom that I started getting in my second trimester was throwing up after I brushed my teeth, which I don't even understand why that happens. But taste of the toothpaste and just like brushing my tongue like would trigger like I guess a gag reflex that I've never had before and I would literally just like throw up like water and like my eyes would get red like I'd start crying because I'd make so much pressure I would literally get like little rashes of like the pressure that I'd be making when I like throw up which isn't really cute or whatever but <laughs> it's a symptom that I did want to mention because it was really weird and I was not expecting that at all like I would only throw up in the morning while brushing my teeth and that's it so during my second trimester my husband and I did choose a name and I feel like we've never really revealed it I wasn't trying to keep it a secret I just kind of like let it be I never really revealed it either but because I'm doing this recap I feel like I should just talk about it and say it because I've had people like message me like hey like your baby's name is in the video just letting you know I don't know if you wanted to reveal it I'm like yeah girl it's fine like it's okay it's not that big of a secret I just haven't really like said it so if you haven't watched my gender reveal video we are having a girl her name is going to be Alethea I won't be saying her middle name or last name because honestly I don't even have my last name on social media and I don't really want it to be out there whenever I tell people her name they're like oh wow I've never heard of that name before so I love that it's unique in some way but it's not very like unique where you haven't heard it before so I love the name Alethea and I'm so glad that we picked that name my second trimester was very very chill it was really really fun I honestly like can I go back <laughs> Because third trimester is not it and I feel like nobody really talks about the third trimester as much as they talk about the first trimester Which is wild because I truly believe the third trimester is worse than the first trimester At least that was my experience. So I can't wait to make my third trimester recap Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I really really wanted to get this up and having this be my first pregnancy I definitely want to have this up on my channel just so that when I have my next baby or whatever I could have this video to look back on and see how different my pregnancies were and just to share with you guys you guys know i like to share my life with y'all and i truly appreciate everybody who watches my videos if you guys have any questions um about my second trimester or anything pregnancy related go ahead and comment them down below i will respond i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye